and T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff of an ionless proton from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan with the Inmarsat 5F3 satellite on board. About 10 seconds after liftoff, the vehicle does do a roll maneuver, which aligns the launch vehicle pitch axis with the northeasterly launch azimuth. And the vehicle will soon experience maximum dynamic pressure, or max-Q, which is the maximum aerodynamic stress on the vehicle uh, during flight. Beautiful shot there as the vehicle uh, climbs the hill, as we like to say. For Proton, max Q occurs about one minute and two seconds after liftoff at a velocity of Mach 1.6. And it's sometimes accompanied by a visible condensation if, you're, if atmospheric and lighting conditions are favorable. Lost video there, but uh, we have a simulation running. Everything seems to be proceeding nominally as the vehicle ascends over the Cosmodrome in a northeasterly direction with a flight launch azimuth of approximately 61.3 degrees. We're about 90 seconds now since uh, launch. And we're coming up on the first stage separation from the second stage, and that's set to occur at about two minutes into the flight. On clear days, the observers at the Baikonur Cosmodrome may be able to see a bit of a halo effect of light as the second stage engines ignite prior to the separation from the first stage. Coming up on two minutes after launch. And the simulation running, uh, we should have passed the stage one, two separation. I have confirmation of ignition of the second stage and good separation from the first stage.